I can easily guess that you are using computer every single day, which actually means that you have some eyes problems because you are sitting too long there, and your eyes are always tired, you have some eyes itching, and you actually don't know how to improve it. This is why in this video I want to talk about one of two most important things that will help your eyes in the long run, and it is of course lamp and lighting. And actually a lot of people don't think about lighting at all, they think about better MacBook maybe for the work or just a better monitor, but it's never a lighting. And actually if you right now have a light in your room like this, then you have a problem, because actually this is the most typical light that you can find in any flat, this is a normal ceiling light. And it is not only the lens of the camera that shows how bad light is, it is also the lens of your eye, which is working with the same light every single day. Which actually means if you have the light similar to this, you have a big problem. So what light is the best to work at the computer? And actually the sunlight, which is completely free, is the best. It is a natural light, it is the best for our eyes, but it is not suitable for us always. Because yes, it can work fine when it is not too harsh, but typically it can be dark in the room, especially in the evening. And you can't work with sun at the night at all. This is why you need to buy a lamp. And actually the main problem that a lot of people just jump to the Google and they find some fancy lamp, so they don't understand what exactly they need from the lamp or from lighting to help their eyes at all. And long ago I did exactly the same problem, I just jumped to Google and searched for some lamp, and it didn't work, because first of all you need to understand the basics. And actually when we talk about light we just need to know two properties. First of all it is color index or color rendering index, which is called CRI, and in the sun it is 100. And then you have it lower and lower, and typically in all flats you have something like 85, which is worse than a sun. So actually we want our lighting with the best CRI possible. The main problem is the typical lamp bulb that you will buy will be 85 CRI. And you want something better, and actually it is really difficult to find high CRI. And when I started to use my camera, I directly saw how bad my light was. This is why actually all lighting, which is related to videography or photography, will be much better, but obviously it is more expensive. So it makes a lot of sense to buy not some fancy lamp, but lamp with a high CRI index. And the other property that you must know about lighting is color temperature. It can be quite low, like for example 2000, and then you have really yellowish color, and the typical color which will be near the sun is 5600. So actually for the lamp that you can see right now, I am using 5600, and it is looking similar to a daylight. So I would recommend you to buy a lamp where you can change the color temperature. In this case you can always adjust color temperature for your eyes. And here are two lamps that I tried and I can recommend. First of all is a China brand which is called Yongnuo 300. This is really nice lamp, but it doesn't give a lot of light. And it is actually a nice lamp for the small working space. But after some time I needed better light, this is why I bought Falconize 20 AD. And it is really similar to the first variant, but much more powerful. And both these lamps have near 95 CRI, and you can adjust color there, which means they are really comfortable to work with. The main problem is that these lamps are for photography and videography, which actually means you must think how you will adjust it in your place. And the last thing about lighting that you must know, there is so called ambient light. And actually if you are looking for lighting for programmers, you can find a lot of posts regarding ambient light. And the main idea is that you don't have any light in your room, so it is completely dark, and then you have a lighting stripe somewhere behind your monitor. And this is how you are getting some ambient light for working. And the light in the room is super dark, and it is similar to your monitor. But actually this type of lighting didn't help me at all. I have a really eye tiredness after using that. This is why I switched to normal lamp. I hope that this video brought you understanding how important lighting is. And actually if you want to know how to ask about salary raise inside the company, make sure to check this video also.